Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Dead Rising. Uh, let's play part three. That rolled off well. Well, anyways, I guess that doesn't really matter, but... So, in your security room here, you can enjoy the uh, sweet sounds of people crying and people saying thank you, which gets annoying if you want to sit here. All the clothes are in here. Well, that's snazzy. Let's, uh, let's put that back. See if there's anything worthwhile in these lockers. Right. Oh, nice. Pink. Let's go with that for a while. But, all right, let's go out and about. See if we can uh, do anything worthwhile, I guess. Because right now it's just kind of a waiting game till the next, um, next scoop. Or the next case, actually. Oh, I didn't want that. All right, so... If you go in the elevator over there, there's going to be a bunch of zombies, so a neat little shortcut you can do. You can walk over to this uh, door and go into the warehouse through here instead of dealing with all the zombies in the elevator. Which I like. Alright, so... Oh man, now right, we got this scoop. This one is kind of a... Uh, kind of a little bit of a pain. Oh, jeez. I accidentally closed out of it. Can't wait for him to call me again. Wait just a second here. Alright. Back to it. So this one is actually... I think it's going to be our first psycho. Or no. We already fought Carlito, but he doesn't, he doesn't count that much. Because he doesn't actually count towards the achievement for whatever reason. But, you know, either way. I don't have the knee drop skill, so I can't drop down without taking damage. So I gotta gotta go the long way here. I'm actually gonna waste up the rest of this one. So I grab a, a couple of fresh ones. Fresh SMGs, I mean. But we are gonna go do out of control. Trying to think of a good way to defeat this boss without making it too hard on myself here. And what I might do, I might grab an SMG from up here, and then I might make uh, a Spitfire drink, which um, allows you to spit. Like, you can actually spit if you don't have an item equipped. But if you use the Spitfire drink, it makes your um, spit actually do damage. So it's a good way to defeat things without actually using weapons. Which would, uh, if you watched any of my Dead Rising Unarmed Let's Play, which is pretty much how I went about defeating any boss in that, is I would make those and try and defeat him that way. And if you defeat Adam, he has um, actually one of the best melee weapons in the game, which I definitely want to get, because that's what I'm just trying to do a normal playthrough here without any unlockable items and whatnot from fresh level one. So, there's another call, and we got a couple other people I can save in the bookstore here. So we definitely want to get them while we're over there in Wonderland Plaza. I know how to make stuff. And the way I make Spitfire is you can combine orange juice and a pie to get your untouchable, and then two orange juices to get a nectar. Then you can combine the nectar and untouchable to get your Spitfire. And it's pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And there we are. And if I remember right, another neat thing you can do here is if you have a pan, you can stick it on here. And you can make your pan nice and hot. And then you can burn zombies with it. He just sticks it on their face like that, which is pretty neat, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess with that right now. I should actually bring an orange juice just in case. So Alright, so, as I was saying about the mini chainsaw there, gives, 
I forgot how to speak. It's one of the best um, melee weapons in the game, and you can actually combine it with some of these uh, books here. And I believe there's two of them that are in here. Maybe, maybe not. But there's the, the entertainment book, the engineering book, and then there's the criminal book. So we just gotta. There's the engineering book. So yeah, two of them were in here. So I'm actually gonna. Actually, I don't want to ditch the katana. So, here's one. The engineering and the entertainment. And then the third book we're going to want to get is actually in Wonderland Plaza. And we're going to get that. And if you combine the mini chainsaw with those three books, it makes that weapon last like some ridiculous... Um, you can kill some like ridiculous amount of zombies with it. Something like, like 2,000 or something like that. Which can pretty much... I think it can last you almost throughout the whole game, if you're good about it. So, we are going to head to the Wonderland Plaza and see about getting that mini chainsaw to make our lives just a little bit easier. The only downfall of that is you have to have three slots to carry, uh, carry your books. But that gets easier as you level up. You get tons more item slots and what have you. So, we should be able to make it with a full... SMG and some Spitfire because I have beaten Adam before with just the Spitfire so with a gun should shouldn't be too horrible I mean my life's kind of suffering right now actually I might want to pick up some more food while I'm in the food court here but cross that bridge here in just a few moments as Frank slowly walks to the other side of Leisure Park Good, I got in before, uh, oh, jeez, sorry about that, cats are opening doors and what have you. <laughs> Alright, so I'm actually going to want to get the Japanese tourists first. And I remember playing this game on a standard definition TV, all the text was pretty much like, it, it wasn't readable at all. It was pretty bad, like, whenever Otis would call you and all that text would appear at the bottom of the screen, you're like, what, what, what the hell does that say? <laughs> and it was pretty, pretty bad. Alright, so we're going to get a call here. About being in the Wonderland Plaza. And I'm not sure if they want me to go upstairs yet or not. Shoes. Sir Bucks a lot. Yeah. Alright, so we do want to go upstairs. And where the tourist is is actually where the um the last book we need is for this chainsaw. So we can grab that after we defeat um Adam on the space rider machine here, so we are not gonna go up here yet and trigger that. We are going to walk by till we get to Sir Buckalot, I believe it was called. There's actually not a lot of zombies up here, which is which is definitely a good thing. And to talk to these guys, you're actually going to need the Japanese book, because they don't speak English. There we go. Oh, I'm going to call from Frank again. Or getting a call from Frank, getting a call from Otis. So I'm going to snap a picture of these guys really quick. Good. Now that we have the Japanese book, we can speak to them. I remember playing this game when I was younger and seeing Japanese tourists on the side, but not being able to read it very well and thinking it said Japanese terrorists. And I'm like, what? <laughs> Why do I got to help the Japanese terrorists? That's kind of odd. But. You know, <laughs> it's kind of funny. So you gotta wait for these two to hash it out. And <laughs> don't worry, his Japanese sucks. You won't understand. <laughs> yeah, I love how they say his Japanese sucks, but my subtitles are making it very easy for me to understand every word they, word they say. But, you know, come on, guys. 
fantastic. Well, that's a good amount of prestige points there. Sweet, level up. Cool, cool. And you can ditch the Japanese book at this point. Don't need that yeah. anymore. Oh, my speed went up. Cool. Come on. Come on. Wow, that was, that was weak. Alright, so now we are going to try and fight Adam. Go. So let's see how this goes. Alright. So this cutscene is pretty twisted. It's pretty good. That's enough of the creepy clown. So you kind of have to wait for the right moment to shoot him, because... Oh shit. They still are going to try and fight him. Don't want that. Seem to be working too well on him. Oh. Ah, those zombies right there. I could have gotten a few shots on him. Oh, here we go. There we go. Yeah. All right. Gotta get him a bit when he's like this. Oh, I'm not close enough. Got him. You can see the spit does pretty good damage to the zombies, too. You just gotta be careful when he's rolling around. Take him down, take him down. Got him. I don't think I took any damage during that. Yeah. Then we get to enjoy this nice cutscene of Adam uh, killing himself. Alright, cool. Got the mini chainsaw. Now. Oh, yeah, I gotta take a picture of him. Yeah, don't forget to take pictures of your uh, your enemies here. All right, so now we stop this, and we get Greg. Yeah, Greg. And there's another mini chainsaw. Maybe I'll snap yeah. that. But this thing is great. You can kill so many zombies so easily. There, so they don't die. Oh, careful not to kill your, uh, your friends either. So Greg actually shows you a shortcut to uh, Paradise Plaza from this plaza, which is really, really helpful. Whoa. And you have you have to stay close to him though, otherwise he kind of you have to follow him, which makes it kind of difficult. But I'm just gonna let him stay there for now. I'm gonna go get the other book that I need. I can actually ditch that. I don't need the uh don't need that katana anymore, so I just gotta find the criminal book. Health book's useful too, it increases your food items. So they um heal you more. Where is it? Where is that book? Pretty sure it said it was in here. Come on, my 
I missing it? Probably. It's got to be in here. Ah, criminal biography. There we go. So now we got all three books increasing the durability of our mini chainsaw. So this will be our go-to weapon throughout the rest of the game. <laughs> oh man, there's a lot of zombies over here now. Well, this thing is freaking great. Oh man, Greg's not, not in a good way. Come on, Greg. Get out of there. Get out of there, Greg. There you go. Lead the way. Alright, so you gotta follow Greg to his little shortcut here. And he doesn't follow you, you have to follow him. So that makes it, like I said, a little more challenging. And you also gotta bring your boys with you. So hopefully they're following well. Yep, they're right behind me. So this will be a good shortcut throughout the rest of the game so we don't have to walk all the way through uh, Leisure Park and then the food court. We can just go right from the Paradise Plaza to here. And our boys don't seem to want to follow us. They're having trouble. Alright, Greg's in there. He's fine. Ah, uh, now we gotta help these two. Because they just... They just can't seem to do things very well. Be careful not to kill them either. That would be most unfortunate. Just come this way, please. Don't go that way. That's that's a stupid way to go. One thing that's nice about the newer Dead Rising games is they made the survivors like a lot easier to transport around. But unfortunately on Dead Rising, we are stuck with the bad artificial intelligence. Alright. So now... Greg is... gonna do his little spiel. Are you guys... Are you just fighting one zombie out here? God damn. Come on! Come on, guys. Please. Come in, please. Jeez, please. And another nice thing about the newer games is... When you're near, like, in a little button to, like, go to a new area, a little icon appears over everyone's Follow heads me. when they're close enough that you can, um, take them all through with you, but on here you just kind of have to, to guess when they're close enough. Now we'll be able to clear out zombies like it's like it's nobody's business. Bringing people around will be a lot easier. Maybe if Shinji will come come forward. But yeah, we can just kind of breeze our way through any of this nonsense. Which will make our playthrough much easier. And it's also good uh, good tips for anyone who isn't... Where'd they go? Seriously? I just cleared that out and they didn't walk forward? Oh my god. Guys. You're killing me, guys. You... Where's Shinji? How did he get over here? Run. Just run. Stop punching him. Just run. Good god, man. Seriously? Look at him go. Now they're running. Man, oh man. It's a good experience, though, getting all these guys here. That's for sure. And definitely gonna need it since I'm only level 11. <laughs> Over there. 
So also in this game, a day in real life time is two hours. And you have to survive for three days. So that's six hours real time. Another neat little fact about this game. So it's not a very long game actually. But after you beat the um, the story mode and you get the, the best ending, the true ending, then you go into overtime mode, which is another two hours of real life time. So if you include that, it's eight hours total of playtime, which still isn't a very long game compared to like newer games like The Witcher and you know stuff like that. But you can just hack and slash everything now. Look at that, clear that out in, in no time. They should all be close enough here. So, it should get another level up or two pretty easily here. And a nice thing too, when you level up, it increases your health um, all the way. So, definitely a good thing. <laughs> but once you get to level 50, the highest level, you, uh, you're you kind of stuck there. And you can't get your health replenished, but... You have enough health at that point, enough item slots that it, you don't really need it most of the time. Alright, what's what? Alright, 90,000. Yeah. Oh, stock up. Nice. Yeah. New skill. What is my skill? I'm just gonna look in the, um, the status menu here. We got... The power push. When grabbed by a zombie, repeatedly push left stick to the right or left to repel the attacker to escape danger. Okay, I'm not sure what's different about that, honestly, because we already had to push it left and right, but... Oh wait, no, I think it, um... I think he kind of pushes them, like, forcefully, if I remember right. But yeah. But I'm gonna save again. Oh, jeez, what? Oh, hey, Brad. Not sure why I got a cutscene there. Yeah, image on the monitor hasn't started yet, so. Whatever. And we still got quite a while for that, actually, so. I'm just gonna save again really quick here. Alright, call that pretty good. Alright. And I think I'm going to call that good for this episode. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. Uh, please comment on the video. Tell me what you like, didn't like, whatever. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe if you want to see more Dead Rising videos in the future. Peace out.